Hey, hey, welcome back, man. Hey. Episode 36, Ignite Sports. Yes, sir. And just because we're not on the NBA no more, don't <laughs> think I'm going to bring you a, a number one, best worn jersey. Number 36, um, Jer- Jerome. <laughs> I, 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 bet, I bet never meet this man. He'd be like, who's Jeremy? He'd be like, that's, that's a brother I don't know about. <laughs> but Jerome, if you know by now, who I was speaking of, of the running back, uh, 13 seasons uh, in the NFL general, 10 with the Pittsburgh Steelers, great running back, um, mm-hmm. who uh, was the MVP three times, you know, nice for that, and got at least a Super Bowl under his belt, so... A little before you know. my, like, full league coverage time, I kind of only really watched the Patriots, like, back in, like, the 2000, up until, like, right, really 2010, honestly. I was, like, more, yeah. more, like, just, like, my team fan. Yeah, like, I feel like I might have heard of his name back then when, because, like, I was always around the NFL for whenever I was with my dad and, like, where that, on every, whatever, like, because I think, I don't know if they changed the days back then like maybe i feel like only one or two days not one or two days but one day has gotten swapped out for the the weekly nfl schedules <laughs> of like you know like monday sundays those are like the main ones or something else i feel like but, it's been pretty similar for like 30 40 years just they added the thursday you know like five years added ago thursday? okay yeah. okay because I, I was like um I couldn't remember, but I just I, I remember just for sure like Sunday Mondays were like you know the biggest yeah. ones so like after Sunday night. It was like yeah, hey, even more Monday, you know, even more football Monday night, you know. So it was like I grew up like kind of seeing it like that. So I felt like that was a name that I kind of heard around because uh, by that time I was like eighth grade, so old enough to understand you know what's going on, <laughs> right. uh, you know, around me, but not really care because I was like I'm a basketball guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was always football first, but it's uh, it's tough. I mean, when you're out here, back in those days, I had a lot of Patriots success early on, so it was just easy to gravitate towards it. Like, yeah, they yeah. Can't not win. Yeah, exactly. And like for me, it was basketball because um, just personal reasons. Just around like that time, too, you guys had like a lot of success too, like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like it, it, all, it all started when I was a baby, anyway. So just with me and my health issues um, from there, it was just like football is nowhere in your future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just gonna stick you with basketball. You play it, you know. I mean, you can watch it the film, but we won't. We're not gonna put you in it. Like we're not. We're not going to jail. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I think that's. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't want my kid playing football, no matter how healthy they are. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is is is. I mean, if they it's, want to, you know, I guess that's one thing. Right. But it's like I wouldn't want right. them to be like, "Oh man, this is my only choice in life." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I, I definitely want to have my child. Is whichever route you want to go, um, I'm gonna show you both ways. <laughs> right. Passion. Like, please, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross my fingers over like behind my back. Like, please, no MLB. Please, mm-hmm. no hate. But I, mm-hmm. I, I, like, hopefully, I find it more enjoyable because my my son or daughter is what is there. <laughs> Did you watch any of these um, preseason games? Uh, not really. Just caught, caught the slightest of highlights and just um, what I want to say notifications <laughs> from Yahoo. Yeah. Uh, kind of, I think talked about this off camera. How um, for our my Green Bay game, they they played Jordan Love. Yep. So like, this is a moment, you know. Your your moments shine, you know. Well, you know, not sh- you can't really shine in the preseason, but your moments are not fuck it up, basically. Yeah, basically that's what I mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know. So it's because it's like we know we all know Aaron's on 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 the clock, you know. It's just yeah. taken down. So this is like you're the you're the next runner up in theory, but where you shall see. So pretty much, but, you mm-hmm. know, lose lose by seven. So. I watched every snap of the <laughs> Patriots game. I just was starved for it. I needed it. I forget who are here. I think Hoyer, Colt, or Brandon, Brian, Brandon Hoyer, Brian Hoyer, Brian Hoyer. Who's that? Uh, Bale Zeppi. <laughs> um, which is funny too, because I was watching. I remember we were talking um, inadvertently off camera when I thought we were recording. Um, we right. had we had and lost Malcolm Butler for like you know a minute. He came back and then he got injured. Um, so we right. didn't have him, but I was watching them, and Butler was wearing number four, and then I was watching this uh, Zappy guy, and he was also wearing number four. 
Like, I didn't know that two players in the same team could have the same number, so that was right. a very new <laughs> instance to me. I guess, like, they split it between offense and defense. There's, like, so many players or something. That, that makes the most sense to me. Because Butler was playing corner, um, you know, and, I mean, this guy plays, this guy's playing quarterback, so maybe they're like, all right, these are, like, the two most far positions for one another, but they can have the same number. Yeah, uh, but it, it, it makes sense um, to me like that because otherwise, is which I think I, this was the talk of like in the NBA, it's just like eventually, right, we're going to maybe go to three digits. <laughs> you know, it's like these, these numbers going to get retired. All of them going to be retired eventually. So it's right. like, so what then, you know? I think, I think they might not all eventually get get retired i mean like they across they retired six across the board and that's the first one to get retired across the board yeah. right first so one, like yeah. that's uh you know okay so we still got 100 more um between zero zero and 99 so yeah, yeah well, oh, well so i'm sorry so what i mean by that um I mean, before before the, this front this you know crazy fun um, came i meant for per team so it was just like but even then but, but so then I, my next step was gonna say so how many like of these retire number worthy players is each team going to get i mean like i'm sure half the teams in the, in the league haven't retired a single number so oh yeah i'm sure we'll be fine like, oh no yeah we, we definitely have a long way like we got like 200 years worth i feel like <laughs> yeah and by the time then man maybe they might start on, on retiring some number two knows who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I, I think it'll be two forever, though. Like, I don't, especially for NBA uh, with, like, how small the roster size is. Like, yeah. NFL would have, would be the only logical place with a yeah. three-man roster. Exactly. But even yeah. then, I think we'll probably stay at two forever. Yeah. I have no, no uh, objections either way. But yeah, this, <laughs> uh, this season uh, opener preseason week one was whew, not really like worth watching I like we were kind of talking before really, really just to check out some of these numbers here to see what this looked like like when yeah. we checked it the first time every over under was like pretty much the same from my memory like plus or minus like three or four points you know it's kind of interesting like look, you know scroll through all these numbers here and see how it's like a normal week like some teams scored like 17 points some teams scored 32 and Everything in between, so they've got a little bit something to go off of for guessing these uh, current numbers for week two. Yes, for week two. Um, yeah, like we were, I said it inadvertently off camera because I wasn't recording. We were talking for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, only thing that I think that we mentioned that was like worth repeating was just our, we only had like one injury on uh, the Jets, Zach Wilson. So yeah. that was like the only guy kind of. Uh, significant thing to come out of week one you know the actual like team uh, development <laughs> yes yeah that um and they're playing again but i would never <laughs> i don't oh, know yeah. but it was but, well wait because who's these falcons who these falcons have because now that mr matty ice ain't there no more who do the falcons have that's a great question probably like some no name if i had to guess not no name, but like tier two quarterback. Exactly. Oh, I guess. Uh, wait. Marcus Mariota <laughs> looks like their star quarterback, but I'd guess. I don't know who Felipe Franks is or Desmond Ritter. Okay, because I was like, I just thought they would show the players, even though, you know, I know the game hasn't started, but all of that's blank. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, maybe, which is, I, I just, I truly feel for Marcus Mariota, like, like, you know where he came from? I forget. Oregon Ducks, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. So, all right. so, so, Oregon, you know, being definitely, for those college fans out here that's watching, one of the, the I want to say it's still Pac-10, Pac-12, maybe that's the thing now. But, you know, big, big names, you know, mm -hmm. out of there. And I'm just like, yeah, happy for him. I kind of saw it. I was like, great, you know. Like, if not mistaken, it's like, straight to Tennessee Titans. And it's like, you know, doing this thing. Apparently, 
for not too long. <laughs> right, right. Was, once we started doing this, it was like started seeing it, and it was like, dang, your name, I definitely forgot about that. I didn't know it was like going under the radar. Yeah, I would like to see him flourish again because now it's eight years into the league. A lot of those college quarterbacks, man. Yeah, like um. Like one we also saw earlier with was named Sam Darnold on the the um, my rivals USC, uh, and I didn't I didn't know what to think of him, but I was just like, hey, another great USC, you know, the quarterback to be coming out. But it was like, we'll see how your life goes, you know. It, it kind of just seemed like it doesn't matter from USC or um, UCLA. Like you just fall under the radar if you're just not really playing up to par and. I mean, it doesn't really seem like football has one of those, like, schools where it's like, oh, if you went there, you're going to succeed. I mean, maybe Alabama. Like, Yeah, because like I was just like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, when I think of it, I, I, I always would think Alabama just easily. Um, and I know there's probably others, but yeah, that I would have to think some more. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's what I got to think hard. Like, right. Ooh, ooh, like... Because I feel, it, partly because I feel more experienced on the college basketball side about where good players will come from. Like a, like for college, it would be like Kentucky, Duke, Duke Kansas, mm-hmm. um, or at least back then when I was watching. Because you correct me in comments now, like if that's still the case now, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so it's like that's that. You know, but college football is just like, yeah. It, I feel like there's some like you would consider lesser known names like oh like Ole Miss like or like you know like, like states that you wouldn't even think about and it's like oh that's a that's where people you know like the good players that come out of so I mean that's the only thing that's like good about college sports is it gives a lot of uh, I don't know you have to like pay attention to those places that you normally would never pay attention to yeah um like for example <laughs> I don't know. You know, I assume these people were from Minnesota, but in my restaurant I, I work at the airport, this white guy had a Minnesota shirt on, and I was like, "When do we ever hear Minnesota news?" Like, <laughs> like we can mm-hmm. get that state exists until I look at the map. Like, you know, not, like, not a Vikings shirt, just a straight up Minnesota shirt. Yeah, just straight up Minnesota. Yeah, but yes, yeah, it's like the only like Vikings is the only thing I feel like. Yeah, right. You can associate with with the Minnesota. Other than that, it's like, you know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just it's like like states like like I think Iowa only has like their a college team that makes them you know worthy of mentioning. Other mm-hmm. than that, it's just like I would never think to mention Iowa. Like, <laughs> right. like, yeah. like we never mention cool. Utah because unless like the Jazz are playing, exactly. like, and that's the whole state. You need the whole damn state of Utah for that. Exactly. You can't even call them like. <laughs> There's no Salt Lake City anything. It's, it's, it's dead, right? it's like, there's no Salt Lake Salt, no Salt Lake uh, Salt Lake Jazz. <laughs> there's no like Dakotas. <laughs> they get two Dakotas, yeah. no teams. I that perfect ones. Like those is is just like just need those to be in Midwest. Right, I'm sure I'm sure that's a great uh, you know, football spot. Oh yeah, you go here to the Dakotas and you're right. gonna be playing ball right. with the hogs. Right. Exactly. Out right. In the field. Exactly. That that's that's probably where they would be like they they hide their pride. This <laughs> is like we're we're good producing the college kids. So yeah, but one day yeah, uh, I don't know all that information. <laughs> but um, yeah, not a ton here from this uh, preseason stuff. I I don't think like anyone like really good played. So there's not uh, you know too much to report on. Right. Um, do you want to try and uh, do a couple of uh, guest picks for uh, next week? We can, you know, see how close we get. Yeah, yeah. so we 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 doing three. Well, uh, yeah, it's three, three and three sounds good to me. Okay. Um, um, wait, let me think here. So, if you are on Yahoo, it shows the uh, the favorites, the over under, and then we can still just like guess the winner as well. Because right. that's how it's going to be during the regular season. Um, gentlemen, first, if you want to lead us off. That's fine. Um, definitely going to go with my Green Bay. Um, so, well, I would have went with the Rams, but I ended up clicking on the Green Bay. <laughs> Never realized it. But yeah, Green Bay. Um, so we got... Uh, 
39.5. All right. 20 each. 21, 21 each. Um, I'll say over. I'll say over because Jordan, if Jordan Love can put do his part, <laughs> mm -hmm. providing providing the 21 points, um, three touchdowns at least, and then I don't know who would be. Is it is it Trevor? Maybe still for for New Orleans. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who do Slash, right? like in this. I mean, in the, in the this sense, I think it is for the regular season, but I don't know if that's who they're gonna start. Oh right, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, and so it's like, yeah, whoever would be for the New Orleans side. Yeah, right. But yeah, so uh, um, over in the thirty-nine point half, point five, Green Bay to win. Um, and the and then yeah, so the the minus three point spread. That's what I'm taking right. Yeah. I assume you're taking Green Bay. Yeah. Cool. All right, all right. Um, I see a similar uh, forty point five over under. Carolina at New England. Carolina is a two point favorite. That's wrong. So, uh, is it in this in this kind of season? Absolutely is. At, at oh, New oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm tripping. Cause I was like, wait a minute, I, in my head, I'm hearing you say New England, but I, I was not thinking, I was like, wow, he chose a game that wasn't his team? <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know where you're saying it. I was like, okay, good. Um, so I think I'll take the two points. I will go under the 40.5 because Bill doesn't really care about scoring in these things. He just wants to like see people do things. Right. Um, and Carolina's, you know, very good, and then I will go with New England for the win. Mm, so Texans, I think, in to win, huh? I remember that's wrong. Were giving up some big points last year. Is that <laughs> <laughs> and most definitely Texans fans were looking like you know, nah, never mind. I shouldn't even say that. They were like, this video is gonna get taken down. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, Texas is we're, we're looking like, yeah, it's, it's the reason why we we're we're big around here on, on our on our um, weapons around here, you know. But we're gonna have to go with the point and plus three and for thirty eight point five. Mm, mm, I'm gonna go under. <laughs> I believe Texas would not do their part. And, and, and go for the Rams for the win. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Hmm. At uh, this point of the season, it's tough to care about any of it. Like, normally I would just jump to uh, I see Tampa Bay because I'm like, oh, I'll bet on Tom Brady, but he's probably not going to play, so it doesn't matter. Right, right. Um, <laughs> so, what teams can I tolerate to bet on? All right. Um, let's see. All right, we got, Air we got Baltimore at Cardinals. I can tolerate both of these teams. Um, the St. Cardinals are a seven, almost seven point uh, underdog to Baltimore coming in. So I guess I'll, I'll that's, that's a lot of points. Let me take those points. Let me take Arizona plus 6.5, um, another 38 and a half. Um, I, I guess I'll go with the over on this one because I have like no real logic behind it. And I went under last time, so I'll go over this time. And then um, I'll go with Baltimore to win though. Okay, okay. Um, I think this would be an error, right? Because if this is preseason two week, how can the Las Vegas Raiders be 2 0, right? <laughs> hmm, that, that's definitely an error. <laughs> so, because I was just like, I'm going to go with that team. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're they fucking team. crushing it, bro. They're the only team who's 2 0. Hey, right? hey, like, hey, look at this, brother. Another error. The Jaguars have already lost two games, apparently. That's Wait, unless weird. there wasn't. Did they play each other somehow? That that can't be. Nah. Like they couldn't no, play right? each other like today or some shit. That would have to have been right. Like Las Vegas would have had to play Jacksonville for that to happen. They're the only teams in this whole thing that have a two involved. Uh, let's go let's go with air. Let's go right. with air. Cause these are oh, you know what it is? Especially because these are all um you know, look at the preseason week two, like this is all eight eighteen, like none of these dates have occurred yet. And then week one was only oh. one week. So by that logic, yes. Well, you know what's crazy? So you okay? So you know the the type right right where it says that you can click the preseason and stuff. They have something called Hall of Fame, and but I was like, hmm. 
Oh, I see it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do see that there, and that would be Jacksonville, Las Vegas. Yeah. But then did they play Week One? Both of those teams. I'm trying to see like when was this date of playing. Okay, but then if you look Week One, oh no, they did both play, huh? Okay, August fourth. Okay, so I got okay. But like, excuse me. Yeah, but like, why would they have both of those teams? Yeah, excuse me again as well <laughs> i i still think that's a little whatever who cares <laughs> but that's very weird like what right that hall of fame thing there's no way that what date was this august 4th august 4th they played a football game i don't i feel yeah. like i would have heard about that though right so like, that's why i don't <laughs> believe this <laughs> but anyway it, nevertheless right, exactly, I, I, yeah. I, it, that was that was the first part just to be funny about right, what I was going right. to say but I was just going to say I think you chose this team Vic Raiders more than me and got in and Did it was a little good. bit of both of of, of the sense of like um you chose him because I, I I left it on the table another time so it was like because you got to go first <laughs> so I would choose him this time <laughs> and I I will choose him and yeah, well, let's see what is these eyes looking like so okay, yeah, they are the favorites. So I will take the minus two, mm-hmm. and Big we were definitely going, dev, we're definitely going to that forty-one and a half because Miami Dolphins. You even though going what over under? No under. Okay, under the forty-one and a half. Even though they had what was it? They had started like oh oh and like something, and just you know almost made it to the playoffs, basically going like 50-50, mm-hmm. uh, if I make a find it, but yeah, for that to be the case, I, I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> so go for that under 41 and a half and go for the Las Vegas Raiders win the game. You get that W. All right, all right, fair enough. So that was three feet, right? Yes, that was three for me. All right, all right baby. Um, let me... Is every team not playing in the week two? Okay, they are. I was, you know, I was looking for um, Denver, and because I was like, who's like a solid team right now that I can like look to, and they're playing Buffalo. I'm like, well, that's not fun at all. Well, there's another solid team I can look to. Um, I was looking at this uh, Dallas Chargers game. Yeah, I saw that was the one I was gonna go. Um, because I feel like I say just like you were saying, or you were kind of doing. I was like, I feel like. Los Angeles should have it. They are a three-point favorite. Um, let's go with that. Let's go with... Uh, I'll take the, the negative three. Uh, Los Angeles favorite. Um, I'm going to go under 37 and a half, though, because I just don't have faith in that Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, I was about... To, I was almost going to take the Cleveland-Philly uh, game, because I'm like, man, I don't got faith in either of these teams, so I feel like this is right. going under, but then I have to pick a winner, and it's like, who the hell wins that game? <laughs> At least I can pick Chargers to win this game. Exactly. So uh, I'll go with that. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say another good choice might have been the Cincinnati New York Giants right underneath. Um, the, ooh, yeah, the, yeah, 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 true, 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 true. Good point. But uh, wait, yeah. but you know what's crazy though? The, the Giants. How's that? Yeah, that's what. That's what these right rosters there. are. That's what these rosters are. We, we you know, Burrow ain't gonna see that field, so it's their number two versus their number two, exactly. or three or four, or whatever. Right, whatever you wanna say. Whatever they expect. Um, yeah, man. So that'd be cool to uh, check out for, do a little comparison. These all look like. We didn't choose the Thursday night game, so we'll be able to basically, uh, you know, do our next week, uh, same thing, Monday or Tuesday, and see uh, how we did. Yep. That is the case. I guess Tuesday will probably be a better day, like we're doing tonight, to kind of get back to doing, I think that's what we did before, um, because of Monday night football. Or actually, we'll do it after Monday night football, on Monday. That's what we would do. Right. Right. Um, So yeah, I'm done for either one. Tuesday, Tuesday, and then Tuesday latest. Um, Yeah, Tuesday latest. Cause then we have till Thursday. Yeah, it's it's really nice so, to have the schedule again. I'm not gonna lie. Like like NBA was a bit of a logistic nightmare. Man, until until <laughs> I brilliantly figured out that Friday games were stacked and like we could just do like around that. Like that was still like, exactly. But yeah, this Monday thing is very nice to just have. Very structured. <laughs> right. That's another. I feel like that's another reason why the NFL is so like successful. It's just like. When are the big games? When they're on, <laughs> you know. It's like when's the big game in the NBA? It's like uh, wait, just wait, just keep waiting, and then maybe like some late season matchups sometimes for seeding, but like it's tough, 
tough. Like unless you're like doing something that we're doing, like it's really tough to want to watch like right non uh, elimination games and that kind of thing. Like even like watching it every uh, playoff game is kind of tough. Like Philly Miami, it's like ugh. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like you want to watch it and then until Harden goes off on one quarter, it's like a complete blowout. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, man. Uh, not too much else in the world of sports from what I noticed. Uh, not sure about uh, on your end. Yeah. Mm-mm. Just uh, see what's going to happen, you know? Mm-hmm. As we get ready for this, the actual season to come through. Yes. Yeah. Very. It was still very nice to have all the uh, helmets on the screen. A little more uh, advertising this year uh, that I am a fan of. Like now, you know how it'll have like on the uh, little symbol and be like, you know, for me I'll just say New England because that's what I was watching. Like, New England would be like, you know, first in ten, whatever, like on the field, like a little graphic. And now it's like all state New England first in ten, and it's like, oh my god, every year they add one more thing. Every year it's got to go on the jersey, it's got to go on the field, it's got to go here, exactly. it's like go on your face. <laughs> You mentioned it. He's <laughs> mentioning that um, reminds me of the NBA. How um, they were like, we're moving to like adding um, more sponsors and stuff <laughs> to the jerseys. Uh, might as well make a full blown NASCAR suit. Make it so every player's got to get the, the sponsor tattooed on their neck before they can exactly. sign on the game. Exactly. All right. Here's your forty million dollars. Now, where would you like your Tide logo? Left ass cheek. Yes, please. For my Instagram <laughs> shots. <laughs> oh, crazy. It's craziness. Yeah, but uh, as long as the game can still be good and watchable and this and that, then they got me. They definitely got me. Definitely got me. So I'm, I'm, I'm committed. I, I, I felt like it was not really blasphemy but i was betraying nba it was just like i'm showing more love but i it was I, it was a good reason because it it's the reason why you know america still watches it more <laughs> you know they get more excited for a super bowl than the nba finals so absolutely and i was just like I, i'm i'm a believer i've seen it <laughs> from beginning to end so and i i believe it's it's worth mm-hmm. worth the time so but uh, yeah, we'll have the link to the Discord in the description. Hop in there. We're gonna start getting more active now that there's actually something to talk about. Yes, yes. That will eventually get back to our Figure Discord. Out some kind of content, uh, something to you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let us know what your picks are versus our picks. Like you know, maybe what your picks would be for some of the games that we didn't pick. Exactly. Because it doesn't have to be the ones we picked. But yeah, so, especially if you're more experienced than us in this. Uh, NFL sports or anything like let us know some tricks of the trade like how do you guys do it what are you all looking out for like you know we get the basic things like home field advantage injury report COVID list but right aside from that like what what are the how you all doing out there especially if you've been doing it for a while and have had success exactly I would love to hear it uh-huh. <laughs> and it's like actually see it <laughs> exactly yeah I gotta um maybe get one of my accounts loaded up again try and do a little bit of little bets here a little bets there because it's just always fun having a little bit of money in the game right yeah it's definitely fun um so should we yeah, get good at this like if, I, if not for this i'm definitely loading up for nba oh yeah yeah because we yeah we we did we did definitely decent so it hurt you know it hurt then you know um you did <laughs> I did really good. <laughs> All right, you see this guy. Okay, we're one one. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but my margin in NBA was pretty crazy. Oh my gosh! Did we did we start the whole season of NFL? We didn't start the whole season of NBA either. All right, all right, all right. We did we did halfway of both. Okay, all right, touche, touche. But, um, and it's like after last year, like, I'm not confident in my NFL picks, but after this year, I am confident in my NBA picks, so we'll have to see where we go. Right, right. Because, like, if it ends up, you know, being, like, a few weeks in, see, I, I really expected this to be doing straight negative on both. So, if it ends up a few weeks in, it's looking like, all right, we're both doing decent then. Might put the, uh, foot to the fire. Yes. 
might <laughs> might do that. But, but yeah, let's look it up. Yeah, man. We'll uh we'll check back next time and see how we did. Yes, sir. Any closing thoughts? Just hope to see you guys there. You know, share with your friends. You know, anybody, you know, family, anybody who you think would be interested in this kind of talk. Uh-huh. Right? You got some uh, beats, yeah. drop them all away. Copyright yeah. free only. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're just trying to trying to make some money off of this, so we, we do not yeah. need copyright claims yeah. <laughs> once that time comes around. <laughs> no, no, no channel strikes, please. Yes. <laughs> all right, man. All right. Um, that's all for me. Yeah, that's it for B. So, cheers, man. Until next time. Yep. This is guys.